General statistics says half of the people in lifetime suffer from cancer. And the cancer survival rate in general is about 50%. One of the major contributing factors was lack of accuracy of those that patient receives. I was born in a village in highlands of Afghanistan, and I was about six years old when Soviet war started. Then I was seven years old by the time we reached Iran. So I went uh, to a school in there, realizing I can't continue. I was engaged and I had to get married, not go to the high school. And I was just 14 years old when they came to take me to their house. And I had to fight to be able to cancel that marriage. I had to study at night, when everybody else is asleep, I was the only girl who managed to pass the entrance exam of university in our school. And I went to Tehran Medical University. When Taliban fell off power, I returned back to Afghanistan. During that time, I lost my own father due to cancer. So I decided to become a specialist in cancer care myself and I signed up for doing a medical physics degree in UK, and I received an offer of a scholarship for PhD. 10 to 25% of cancer patients who go through radiotherapy suffer from severe complications. So I thought, what if we could have a feedback system? a tiny radiation detector that can sit inside the body and tell me what exactly happened during the treatment. So I thought I need to find something in terms of material science. And I remembered jewelry glass beads that I was using them during my childhood and I tested them in radiation lab. I couldn't believe the results. By end of 2014, I found it through in vivo to start commercialization. In September 2018, I was diagnosed myself with breast cancer. It wasn't easy finding out you're pregnant at the same time as well. The Sustainability Innovation Award came in such a brilliant timing for us. We had three main objectives, to do preclinical testing, develop a software, and make an, a stringing machine, and we managed to achieve all three goals. That was the way we moved forward, really. By using our dose mapper products, clinicians are able to correct and adjust the dose, which leads to better quality of life for patients and better survival rate. We are hoping to improve the quality of life for all patients around the world.